is Faruk Kibet? Sasa Faruk si ni mtu ya mkono ya rais. Lakini huyu Faruk sio mtu wa kiburi. Ni mtu wa kunyorosha kazi. Na niseme ukweli kwa ushindi wa William Ruto na sisi alichangia kiasi kikubwa sana. Huyu Kibet Faruk ananikumbusha Martin Luther King Jr. Kwa sababu tulisema hatupangwi ngwi lakini tulipatia Faruk Kibet nafasi atupange. Kazi yenye alipewa alianzia tu kupanga sisi ndio utuongee mzuri kwa mkutano. Faruk Kibet has donated two buses. Faruk Kibet donated buses to Ngenyelel Secondary School in Tarbo Wasingishu County. We have now Faruk Kibet who the deputy of this country the deputy president of this country who voters voted with 7 million votes mm -hmm. admitted that for him to access his boss he must pass through Farouk in the intricate web of Kenyan politics true power often lies with those who control access to the president meet Farouk Kibet a man whose unwavering loyalty to William Ruto has made him one of the most influential figures in the nation's corridors of power. Na unajua yeye ana ofisi lakini hapo na corridor nyingine ambaye inaitwa the corridor of power. Wewe uko ndani huko. Faruk hapo nje ndio anatunyorosha sana. Let me tell you kweli sasa ujue hapa. Huyu hapo na power si yenye wewe ujui. Faruk Kibet you might not know his name, but if you are in the corridors of power, you definitely understand his influence. So who, who is, is this guy? guy? Farouk Tegut Kibet was born in Kapkechui village, Wasingishu. His formal education, just primary school at Chepkemel Primary. But don't let that fool you. This man has climbed the political ladder like a pro. Back in the 90s, Farouk was all about the hustle, rallying youth for the Kanu regime. He joined the Youth for Kanu faction where he crossed path with the young ambitious William Ruto, fresh out of the University of Nairobi. Ruto and Farouk Kibet, both products of political mentorship under Moi, learned the ropes of politics from Cyrus Girongo. Initially on opposing sides, they clashed in 1997 when Ruto ran for a parliamentary seat against Farouk's local mentor. Despite intense competition, Ruto won, but faced pressure due to Farouk's influence. To mitigate this, Ruto persuaded Farouk to join forces, emphasizing, the shared, emphasizing their shared potential as young leaders. Farouk eventually pledged loyalty to Ruto, highlighting the fluid dynamics of political alliances. That's right, Farouk became Ruto's go-to guy, his eyes and ears on the ground. From 1997 to 2003, Ruto secured him a position as a nominated councillor. When Kanu fell after the 2002 elections, their partnership only grew stronger. Farouk isn't just a behind-the-scenes guy. He is a master organizer, scouting future political stars like Oscar Sudi, Rashid Echesa, and Kipchumba Murkomen. At public events, he is the silent observer, noting every single detail and every single person around. But with power comes controversy. Farouk made headlines for allegedly receiving money from a suspect in the National Youth Service 791 million shilling scandal exposed by Jacob Juma. You can watch my video about the billionaire whistleblower Jacob Juma linked down below. Juma claimed Farouk Kibet, DP Ruto's PA, bought two houses for 70 million in Milimani Executive Apartments. He paid 34.5 million in cash for one. And let's not forget about the ICC drama. Ben Suda claimed that Farouk stormed the Eldoret police station at the height of the violence and accused him of tampering with ICC witnesses in the debacle that was the case against the deputy president at The Hague. Despite all this, his influence never wavered. Farouk remains a key player in Ruto's inner circle, 
a testament to his loyalty and Ruto's trust. So there you have it, Farouk Yebet, the man behind the power, the unseen force ensuring everything runs smoothly in Ruto's political machine. His story is a reminder that in politics and a lot of other things, the real power lies in the shadows. Thanks for watching and until the next one, cheers.